Despite gains in tobacco reduction and control, tobacco use remains the leading cause of preventable death in Canada. Every year, more than 37,000 Canadians die from tobacco-related illnesses. This translates to a death about every 11 minutes. Thousands more are diagnosed with illness due to use of the product. In cancer care, each year, almost 2,500 new cancer cases in Alberta are linked to tobacco use. An estimated 20% of all patients coming to cancer centers will continue to use tobacco after a cancer diagnosis. There is growing and consistent evidence that using tobacco following diagnosis increases all-cause mortality and cancer-specific mortality, reduces the effectiveness of cancer treatment, including chemotherapy, radiation therapy, increases treatment-related toxicity, increases the risk for a second primary cancer, increases the risk of cancer recurrence. Stopping tobacco use immediately after a cancer diagnosis gives patients the best chance for their cancer treatment to work. According to the 2014 U.S. Surgeon General report, the risk of dying could be lowered by 30 to 40 percent by quitting smoking at the time of diagnosis. For some cancer diagnoses, the benefit of smoking cessation may be equal to or even exceed the value of state-of-the-art cancer therapies. Oncology providers play a vital role in helping patients maximize the success of their treatment by stopping or reducing their tobacco use. Importantly, patients want to be asked and are highly motivated to quit. A brief tobacco intervention of only a couple of minutes truly makes a difference. It is proven to double an individual's chances of stopping tobacco use. Best practice guidelines recommend that every patient being treated for cancer be screened for tobacco use and offered treatment support. The Ask, Advise, Refer, or AAR model, provides a simple to use, least intensive, abbreviated version of a tobacco intervention. This model is best suited for care providers who spend minimal time with a client, workers who collect intake data, which is used by another care provider for service or treatment, care providers whose scope of work does not allow for a more intensive intervention, where time and scope of practice facilitate, full implementation of the 5A brief tobacco intervention is recommended to increase quit success. Let's discuss the three components of this model. The first A stands for ask. The individual is asked about their current use of tobacco. So it looks like here that you've checked off that you smoke cigarettes. I've smoked since I was 16 years old. I've tried to quit. I've managed to cut back to a half a pack a day, but it's hard. It doesn't help that Peter smokes too. The second A stands for advise. The individual is given a personalized message that stopping tobacco use is the most important thing they can do to improve their health, a chronic condition, or a treatment outcome. I understand this is all overwhelming, but as we plan for your chemotherapy and radiation, I'd like to talk about your tobacco use as well. Quitting is one of the best things you can do to improve your response to the treatment. The R stands for refer. The individual is directly referred to cessation supports provided in the care setting or available to them outside of the care setting. The more direct the referral, the more likely the person who uses tobacco will engage. We have a specialized clinic that can help you stop smoking. Is that something that Peter and you would be interested in? Quitting can be hard and not all patients will be ready. For patients who are not yet ready, provide appropriate educational or self-help material. Let them know that you are available to help if and when they are ready. Let's watch an AAR intervention with someone not ready. So I just wanted to take some time to go over the responses that you put on your putting patient first form just to see where you're at today. Um, I see that you've uh, indicated that you're that you, you're smoking currently. Yeah, I've I've cut back, but I'm still smoking about half a pack a day. Um, I feel I just have to let you know that I know this is very overwhelming and quitting is very hard, but um, what you may not know is that quitting or even reducing your tobacco use is probably one of the best things you can do to increase the success of your treatment. Uh, we have a free and specialized clinic that can help you with counseling or medication um, to help you get started. Do you think I can make a referral for you? You know, I. I don't think I want to do it right now. I'm just, I have so much on my plate. It's just been emotional. 
Yeah, I can, yeah, I can appreciate that. Well, if and when you're ready, you can self-refer to the clinic at any time. There's some information in that pamphlet for you about, uh, you know, the benefits of quitting and uh, contact numbers. So whenever you're ready. As you can see, the AAR can be completed in less than two minutes and can flag tobacco use and interest in cessation support for a subsequent health care provider to provide more intensive intervention, including pharmacotherapy. Documenting an AAR is important because, as discussed, it flags tobacco use for subsequent care providers to follow up. Brief tobacco intervention provides an important performance measure in healthcare settings. In cancer control, ask, advise, refer can be documented on the putting patient's first form electronically on area or on paper. If your site has not yet implemented the putting patient's first form, AAR can be documented on the patient's initial intake assessment form. If the patient screens positive for tobacco use on the PPF or other intake form, provide advice and document on the PPF form by checking off Offer Tobacco Cessation Advice. While offering print resources is okay, the evidence tells us that direct, personalized advice increases quit success. Document whether a referral has been made by checking off Tobacco Clinic in the Referrals section of the form and complete and fax the Tobacco Treatment and Support Clinic patient referral form. Referral location, Edmonton or Calgary, will be based by site location or by patient preference. There are many resources available to help you to support your patients, including patient information brochure, posters, tobacco cessation pharmacotherapy order sets, in area, under favorites, and on paper. Alberta Quits Cessation Toolkit. An abbreviated brief tobacco intervention is a quick, easy, effective way to make a significant difference in the health of an individual who uses tobacco. Remember, asking about tobacco use, advising to reduce or stop, and referring individuals for further tobacco dependence treatment can double a person's chances of stopping. If you want to learn more about providing tobacco interventions, check out albertaquits.ca for health professional resources and other learning opportunities.